guys Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another Laravel tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look on how to dynamically create this menu that until now we manually written in the Navblade template and how Laravel allows us to dynamically fetch data from the database whenever the application is generated. So what we have right now we have inside the uh, resources partials the nav.blade and here we're writing manually the menu. A thing that we should do is dynamically grab all these data, all these pages from our database and print the menu dynamically here. So at this point we have a problem because the nav.blade doesn't belong to any route. So if we open the routes here we just have the regular route home and then whenever we have a page we are loading the front-end controller page. We could potentially in the constructor the front-end controller fetch the data of those pages from the database and then return that list as a variable for every view that we're generating. But this is not scalable because imagine if we have multiple controllers or multiple methods we always have to fetch the pages and pass it through every method. It's really not maintainable on the long run. Luckily Laravel allows us to create some specific methods when the application boots. So if we access the main folder in the base root directory of our project called config here we're gonna have all these uh, files that basically take care of of configuring our Laravel application and we can edit this file but you should be really careful in uh, uh, tinkering with these files because you can totally break your application. But if we open the app.php file, this is the main file that gets called when Laravel boots for the first time. It's just an array of key and values with all the information that the application needs and it's grabbing all these from our .env file. If we scroll down when we reach an array of providers, every time Laravel Laravel boots itself and generates and start grabbing the views and start grabbing the resources and whatever it does Laravel when it boots for the first time, it's all based on one provider after another. These providers give us the ability to tap our application before it loads the pages. Let's take a look on how to generate a custom provider that automatically pulls the pages from the database and pass that data to all the pages, in our case to the navigation partial. So as usual let's open our terminal, let's point to the base folder of our Laravel installation and let's use artisan, so php artisan make column provider and let's call this provider uh, whatever you want. Like usually the convention is to always use a custom name for whatever the provider does and then finish it with service provider. So in my case it's gonna take care of the views so we could potentially call a view composer service provider or view service provider. Um, why don't we call it navigation service provider because this provider I want to just use it to tap the navigation and just print the navigation. So I'm going to call it navigation service provider. But of course as usual you can call this file however you want. It's in enter, the provider has been created. So now if we open this file navigation service provider, you notice that it's inside automatically Laravel put it inside the app providers navigation service provider, which is fantastic. And automatically is extending the service provider illuminate support. So we are automatically hooked inside Laravel. By default when we create a provider we have two methods in it, the boot method and the register method. You have to be really really careful about the register method. You shouldn't execute or try to attempt to register any event listener or routes or other pieces of functionality within the register method because this register method could be called before other service providers have finished loading, so before the actual Laravel application finished loading. The safest choice to have whenever we create a custom service provider is to use the boot method because this boot method gets called right after all the other providers are loaded. So the thing that I want to do here, I want to tap the default view and tell to the Laravel composer, the one that generates the actual view, to say hey whenever we hit every page just print some data. So I'm gonna break the application for now, so let's for example uh, tap the nav.blade.php and let's say that here inside the nav I want to print another um, link 
that doesn't go anywhere, it's just, just a link, and I want to call it uh, with a variable, whatever variable I get past, and this variable I'm just going to call it test. So if I save this and I access my front end in a refresh, of course I'm going to have an error because the variable test is not available, doesn't exist, but if from within my navigation service provider, I say to Laravel, hey, inside the boot method, get me the view. Whenever we tap the view, and this is a built-in method of the service providers, we don't have to generate or set up anything for this view method. Let's access the composer, and whenever the composer hits any page, so inside single quotes, we can specify the star symbol, because we can say, it doesn't matter what page is gonna load, I wanna always use this method. Let's create a nameless function. And inside this nameless function, we're gonna get automatically the view itself, the variable view itself. So we can get the view, so whatever Laravel is generated at that time, and we can pass something. We can edit this view, return some custom data. So let's say that I wanna create a variable that it's equal to uh, my test something like that. You can call it whatever you want. You can store whatever data in this variable. And then we can say that I want to return this view variable that I'm getting from the view composer, but I want to return it with some extra data. And I can method chain this view that it's an actual class. It's the object of initialize class. I want to return it with this method chain with, and I can pass two attributes. The first one is the key and the second one is the actual data. So I can pass the key test and then the data is the actual variable test. So whenever I load something, whenever Laravel boots, if the view composer matches these parameter that I put here that it says whatever page, there's a star, so it's like a wildcard, let's return the view with the test variable. So now if I save, of course, it won't work. So I refresh my front page, still the same issue because yes, I generated the navigation service provider, but I didn't register the service provider. So automatically Laravel doesn't know that we have this new service provider. Let's go back in our app.php inside the config folder. And once again, inside the providers array, here at the beginning, we have all these framework service provider that we shouldn't touch. If you scroll down, we can put here all the external packages a service provider. Sometimes you install a package and you need to register their own service provider. Here, we have the ability to specify our own application service providers. And if you check this list, it's basically identical to all the providers list that we have here. We have the app service provider, there you go, auth service provider, broadcast, it's commented out because by default Laravel doesn't broadcast anything, but you can. Now we can add our custom navigation service provider. So let's duplicate this thing and let's replace route to navigation service provider. Perfect. Let's go back to our front end. Let's refresh. There we go. Now we have our home page with the home blog about contact and my test. So why don't we now, instead of manually writing this thing, why don't we fetch all the pages from the database and we dynamically generate this menu? Let's do it. Let's go back in our code editor. We can close the app.php because we don't need to register anything else. That's done. Here inside the boot method, let's set the variable pages. And let's say that here I want pages dash dash all. And of course, because I need to use these pages, we need to specify, hey, what do you want me to use? We need to use the app page method, sorry. And this is page because the model, it's singular. So we need to use the app model page. And then we can say pages all. And here we can return the pages. So now in our nav.blade.php, let's delete these. And let's comment these out for now. And let's do something really simple. Let's see if we actually get the pages. So we can bar dump the pages. Actually, we can, yeah, let's DD, it's cleaner. Perfect, let's go back in our front end, let's refresh. There you go, now we have the home that it's manually written and then we have the list of three pages, wonderful. So now that we have these data here, it doesn't matter which page we load, we can do something super cool with Blade. We can loop through these pages and generate dynamically this menu. So let's do something like this. Let's use the Blade directory at for each and we can say, and this is really similar to standard PHP, we can say for each pages has 
page, so it's going to loop through all the pages and it's going to return these single variable page. We can end the for each with at and for each. Here we can basically print uh, these. And this is the beauty of Blade. We don't need to, we are inside PHP, but we don't need to write echo because automatically it's interpreted as HTML. And this is wrapped around PHP tags by itself which is fantastic. Here we can print the slug. So let's open and close the curly brackets. We can say page singular tap the slug of this page. And then once again, let's open and close the curly brackets. That is basically a hecko and say the page tap the title of the page. And we can delete these. There you go. Save it. Let's go back in our front end. Let's refresh. Still have the same thing, but look at that. Now we have the about page, blog page, contact page, and so on. So all these custom pages, all these things are coming directly from our database, are not manually written anymore. And this is dynamically generated thanks to the navigation service provider that we created. It's pretty fantastic. So that's pretty much it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And until the next one, as usual, happy coding.